This is Dr. Phil Chavez, right now about four miles to the south of central Rome. Behind me, behind this wall, is the church of San Giovanni a Porta Latina. That means, in the English, St. John at the Latin Gate. Behind me, adjacent to this wall, is the chapel where St. John the Apostle and the Evangelist was boiling oil. At least this chapel marks that spot. Again, it's near the Latin Gate of Rome that was once uh, adjacent or still is adjacent to the ancient walls. Now the larger church nearby was built by Pope Adrian I in 772 and experienced some restoration over the years. I realize you don't see it. Now in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 20, Salome, the mother of James and John, presented her sons to Jesus with a mother's aspiration and asked him to grant them the highest places in his kingdom. We all know the story. The Savior replies, Are you able to drink the cup that I am to drink? They said to him, We are able. So he says to them, You will drink my cup, but to sit at my right hand and my left is not mine to give. The elder St. James the Greater first gave proof of his love through death by the sword. And here St. John, the younger brother, offered his life also in faithful witness. Now, according to one tradition, evangelizing and founding the seven churches of Asia Minor, in a homily, John the Evangelist condemned worship to the goddess Diana. For this, later he was arrested and bound with chains and carried from Ephesus here to Rome during the persecutions of the emperor Domitian. St. John was condemned by the Tribune of Rome to, and sentenced to torture and death. So a huge cauldron of boiling oil was prepared at this site behind me. Here by submission, John drinks of his master's chalice. By ancient accounts, first he was forced to drink a cup of poison, but he did not die. After a cruel scourging, his executioners actually scalped him before throwing him into the cauldron. But the boiling liquid lost its heat, and instead of being consumed, John's body was restored to full youthful vigor. Tertullian said, at Rome, he was put into a vessel of boiling oil, but he came out cleaner and healthier than when he went in. An imperial decree banished him to imprisonment and hard labor on the island of Patmos, where God reveals to him the future of the church unto the end of time in the apocalypse. Eventually, St. John was released and returned to Ephesus, where he died of natural causes around 98 AD, about the age of 100. The ruins of a basilica remain over his tomb. St. John's feast day is known by many as December 27. But the feast of St. John before the Latin gate, which commemorates this site, is May 6. St. John the Evangelist and all the great evangelists pray for us. And brothers, God be with you.